Hello and welcome back. This is going to be my last video for uh, Flappy Bird. Um, it's probably going to be the quickest one out of all of them actually because the last thing we're going to do here is do the best score. Um, so one of the things we did previously in here in my last video which I had you guys put in here was um, the best and the score right down over here. And uh, then I had you t drag in a teeny DB1, alright? And that's what we're basically going to be using all of today. For right now, we, we have a uh, global score variable already preset here. So we're not going to have to worry about uh, grabbing that. We're just going to really be using that value throughout this whole entire process. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab that uh, label here which we label as best score and we're going to go and drop down here to set best score text to now we're going to be doing is throwing this right into here where um, every time that it goes to zero right before it, we want to save that previous score before it goes to zero to the best score text and we, can't, we can just throw global score and put it in there. Now that will work. The only downside to that is that now if the user decides to back out of the game, do something else, close the application for any sake, it will be reset to zero as if you just restart the game. We don't want that. We want it to be saved on the user's phone. Um, so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to go right ahead and we're going to go down to, uh, let's see, And we're going to set it to um, a teeny db value, which uh, we'll call out right here. So call teeny b teeny db1 value. All right, we're going to go ahead and slide that right in there. All right. Now, since we haven't stored something in here beforehand, the value of the tag is not there. We're going to want to put down zero. Now the tag to which we are going to be referring to, I'm going to tag this variable as, uh, we'll just say best score, keep it simple. And we're going to want to So now we have that set, and it's going to set it to zero if it doesn't find anything in the tag. And if it finds something in the tag, it will set it to it. Now the only downside to this right now, as you can see, it's going to set it no matter what every time that the user hits that. And we haven't stored the value, but we're going to worry about that later. For right now, we want to only set it if and only if the user goes higher than the previous score. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go into Control, find your if statement. Plop that right into there. Throw that right into there. And this, you want to set your global back to zero. That's going to happen no matter what, so you want to put that right at the very end. All right, now we have to set up our if statement to tell it to change it. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and grab our logic here. And grab this right here, which is going to be equal symbol. And apparently that's that doesn't have my is it math that has that greater or lesser or equal to. Yeah, there we go, math. My mistake. I thought it was in logic. Math will have your great uh, equal sign. So we'll say uh, less than here. So if my global variable, which is our uh, get that best score global score is greater than we'll go ahead and we'll call the same thing here duplicate alright go ahead you know what actually we don't even call this actually 
we we'll leave it there. We'll put it. Let's make it a little bit cleaner, and we'll just do this here. Well. bit cleaner. I think this will work out a little bit better. We're just going to put the score right down there. So if it the, the score is greater than the store value uh, value that is stored inside there, it will go ahead and go go on there. Um, now it says uh, value of tag is there and I did something stupid here. Um, I left it as a text. We can't have a text in there. Because text zero and mat zero are two different things, so I'll go ahead and pop a math in there. So now that's an actual math function, not a text function. They're not—they're not the same thing. When it goes to go ahead and deliberate if it's correct or not, it will go ahead and give you an error. This way, it's set to zero. All right. So now we set the score box there, but we haven't actually set the value there. Now that's okay for the first part because the first time it goes through, it's going to just set set to zero. Now we want to store that tag. So now we have to go back down to our teeny db here. And we're going to want to go ahead and store that value. So next time we can go back to it. And we're going to duplicate your tag here. And then the value to store is going to be the score again. Now after all this is done, because remember it runs in a run stack formation, which means that it starts from the top and works its way down, it will go ahead and process this. It'll say, okay, what well, is greater than our previous score. We'll go ahead and set that tag there. And then your global value will stay down there. And yes, I did forget that if it does change the tag, what will it? I'm trying to think if it would go ahead and open it back up on that. I don't think it would. So let's go ahead and initialize. We'll also initialize it. And we'll initialize it from your best score here. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and duplicate this. Bring that to where's our initialization. I don't have to drag it too far is over here, so we're gonna drag it over there. It's the one thing I do not like about App Inventor. There's a way of like doing this easier. Please let me know because this does get on my nerves quite often. Is this initialization? No, it's movement. Still going over. We're not there yet. Here we are. Okay. And we don't want that, and that was probably a stupid decision on my part. Don't want to go ahead and get the global value because it will start off at zero. We want to go ahead and call the teeny db and get value. Put that in there. And if I'm not mistaken, I will test best score. I'm going to go ahead and double check that. Make sure there's no caps I put in the other one because it is case sensitive. This is a, it's not exactly best score. We'll just do this. Double check because I am very bad with spelling. If you guys haven't noticed already, which you probably have, and probably yelling at me, you spelled that wrong. Yeah, it does happen a lot in my videos. Excuse me. No big deal though. It does work. All right, and then for the value, if not there, once again, can't leave that blank because first time the user opens it up they're going to get an error so what we have to do is go ahead back to math and fill that with the appropriate zero alright so initialize with the score that we saved into the phone it will then change it and save it to the global scale here now you could like I said you can go ahead and call it again but we're going to go ahead and leave it like that that, ought, that, that should work in repetition if I'm not mistaken um, if not, you can always throw this below it and then call the score that you just saved. That works too. And I'll actually go there because I know that would work for, for a fact. I'm pretty sure that that would work, but I don't want anybody coming back at me and saying that that didn't work. So we're going to go ahead and just change right here. So duplicate. And we'll put there down. So now we know for sure that there's going to be a value of global score added to that. 
and now we set. Now if you notice, I put this underneath, which I should have notified you before, this underneath your image sprint one collide with branch here that we've been working with uh, for all the collisions. And that's what has been set to zero. I thought maybe you already know that by the global score is zero here. I'm kind of familiar, but as you can see, that only works if collided with the branch one. So if you don't already know, we're going to have to go ahead and duplicate this and throw this underneath for every following one. So go ahead and click duplicate. Just going to be the same code, nothing different here, people. So, uh, ooh, eh, all right. Ah, Christ. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? If oh yeah, I got it. Branch one, this branch three, branch two. I think I just swapped them, top to bottom. Which I think will still work, but we're gonna put it in the right order, like the one above it, because I know that one works. Christ, all right. There we go. All right, think we're looking good now. Okay, and one more time. Hopefully we don't fuck this one up. All right. Excuse my French there. Sorry. All right. Looks like we got it. All right. So set, set. And so, all right, looking good. So I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. Um, give me two seconds. Let me get my uh, screen viewer and pop it up on my phone and see where we're at. All right, and here I got it running right here. Um, play just for a little bit, see if it worked, make sure. And um, as you see, my best score is saved at 16. Go ahead and uh, resume this. There we are. And see, it didn't change. Let's see, three, four. It's taking that equation, but let's see if I can beat that score. And remember, this is a screen view of my phone, HTC One. Um, it's not an emulation, so it's actually running on an actual phone. Let's get up to 17 here, and I'll take a hit. And you can see it changes it to the 17. Your best score is saved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap on this, bring it out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the application, stop it from running, we're going to go home again, we're going to open up the game again, start from the beginning, as you can see that 17 saved again. So it did work, I know like on your screen right now it's looking really laggy and stuff like that, but I assure you on my screen it's running pretty darn good. Alright, so now you get to see that that's working. Um, I really don't think there's anything else to be seen here. I might want to get rid of those freaking notifications, they're starting to make me mad. Um, but uh, besides anything else, uh, you let me know. I'll see if I can do anything else. Um, I put the a dot i a dot uh, sorry dot a i a file on my last video. Um, I think it was update seven. Um, I'm gonna also put in the description to the link to it in this video also, so that way you can also um, look at it and uh, see what you can do with it. Um, you know, take a look at it, see what you want, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Remember, like, subscribe, uh, really help me out, guys, here. Um, poor college student. Keep me going, all right? Have a great day, and uh, please comment. Let me know what you want. Bye.